Hello boys and girls. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on a project on which we will be um, using shapes and we will be turning them into forms. Okay, so we are going to work with um, something that is going to be um, two-dimensional and we are going to turn it into something that is um, three-dimensional um, in, in the end. So for this project, what you're going to be needing is a ruler, a pencil, scissors, glue. If you have a home stapler, that's fine. If you don't, you can always use tape. Okay. And we are going to be requiring um, the three primary colors, which is red, yellow, green. Uh, I'm sorry, um, red, yellow, blue. And we are also going to need some green and a black uh, piece for the setting. I will be providing you with um, the template that you will be using, okay, for um, the development of your um, flowers. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to take just the primary colors, which is like I said, the yellow the blue and the red, and you're gonna put them together. And you're going to take your template. You're going to put them together just like this. You're going to take your stapler and you're going to uh, basically staple so that the paper doesn't move. Okay, so you do it on one side do it on the other side okay. and if you can do it also down the middle on both sides okay so now nothing will move and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this template to cut our flowers okay and when we cut so we're gonna end up having um, tulips which um, are in uh, three different colors okay and we're going to cut six in total um, so it's gonna be six out of each color okay so let me just get started cutting the first one and you see how it doesn't matter how you um, go ahead and manipulate the paper um, it's not gonna move and this is just um, time saving Okay, so in the end you're cutting for um, six flowers, but you're going to end up with um, 18. All right, so we go ahead and cut the first one. And there you have it. You're going to take off this and you're going to see that you have three flowers, each one of them a different color. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to pretend I already cut all of my flowers and I'm going to start building my red one, okay? So we do see we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take flowers, you're gonna fold them in half. Okay, and here you can see that the rest of my flowers have also been folded in half. All right, so just keep them like that. Total of six flowers, fold it in half. The next thing you're going to be using is going to be your glue, your glue stick. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're going to Keep it closed, like I said, and you're going to start applying glue to the surface. You know this is still closed, right? And you're going to take one of this and you're going to put it directly on top. So we're basically layering. All right? So.
we got the first one right we're gonna add more glue so we got two at this time we're adding the third one okay nothing hard okay we're just putting one on top of the other We go with the fourth one. And again, we apply more wood, uh, more glue. We go with number five. Okay. Like I said, layering. And the last one. All right, so basically we take this one and put it right on top. And now we what we're gonna see is that we are, we started first with um, a flat shape. And now we are taking this shape and we are turning it into a form. And if we remember the definition of form, it's when an object stops being flat and it starts being um, three-dimensional and here we have our little tulip okay so which is uh, self-standing okay and so for demonstration's sake I already have my yellow one ready and I have also my blue one all right so we're gonna be working with three different tulips all right so I'm gonna put this to the side right now and I'm going to show you what we're going to do exactly with our um, stems. So you have here the green, right? And basically what you're going to do is you're going to mark, okay? If we notice, this is one inch, two inch, three inch, okay? So we're going to put it right there. We're going to start making markings of one inch, okay? So we have one inch right there, two inches three inches okay so you go to the top now you do the same thing one inch two inch and we have three inches you're going to take your ruler all right and you're going to trace over so now you have three stamps Okay, which is what you're gonna do now. You're gonna pick up and you are going to cut right at the line. Okay, so there, this is one stem. What you're going to do is you're gonna take this stem and you're gonna fold it in half because remember, this is all about um, making these shapes into forms. So we're trying to make them have some sort of a body, you know, so that in a way it's not flat anymore. So we have something right there, but this is a little bit too simple. So what I'm gonna suggest you to do is, you're going to take your scissors, okay? And you're going to start doing like um, circular shapes in here, okay? They're not, not circulars, but like, um, wavy okay and notice how I'm not cutting this is the side that it's open I'm not cutting all the way through so that you have two pieces I'm just cutting so that I get to the edge right there and then I continue and then voila okay so notice how we have like curvy shapes Okay, and so you're going to be making three of them. Okay, I have this one's already cut and I'm ready to glue now. Okay, so I'm going to bring my backing. My backing can either be, I, I'm, I'm, I'm deciding to use black. You can um, use white if you want, okay? And what you're going to do is with this, you are basically going to place your flowers all right so try to 
uh, put one on top and the other two maybe a little bit lower like that okay so what you're gonna do is you're going to glue the back still close right you're going to apply glue to your back so that it sticks onto your paper and you are going to place your flowers okay so there's your first one I'm going to do the other one on the other edge Right. you're gonna take it and you're going to position it about a little bit lower all right and the middle one we're gonna put it a little bit higher okay so I'm gonna put it like up here So if you notice now we have three levels. We have one middle one, the top one, and then this one's a little bit lower, okay? Um, we'll, we'll arrange the petals once it's done. But what I want you to take now is your stem and what you're gonna do is you're going to see how far does it go and then you're going to flip towards the top all right so look now it's going to be three-dimensional you're going to apply glue right there put them together on the backing okay and you just basically try to position it right there okay simple as that the next one okay um, this is gonna be the tallest one so this one is going to be folded right there all right and you are going to first apply glue right there Now you go to the back. All right. And you position it where you want it on your paper. This one's being a little rebel, put a little bit more glue, and there you have it. Now the next one, the same thing. You're going to measure, and you flip it up. Okay, so the first thing again, you put glue in here, Fold it in and you put glue on the backing. You bring it again close to you and you just arrange it on top of your paper. Now the last thing you need to do is arrange your petals, fluff them up. you're going to see that you have now a three-dimensional piece of artwork okay 
So as simple as you saw, that's this week's assignment. Can't wait to see you guys um, doing this, okay? Um, I know you're gonna be able to produce some beautiful artwork because you are all talented, okay? So there it is, our lesson on shape and form and the introduction of the primary colors, okay? So yellow, red, and blue. Okay, thank you very much.